Meghan Markle's pal be literally falling out of fashion. As ever, what are we talking about? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you today. Beautiful sunny day, isn't it? I know, we've got to cherish these moments of great weather, you know, because I know I don't want to talk, you know what I'm talking about. Winter is coming over here in the United Kingdom. We're all going to be freezing, allegedly, if you'd believe the mainstream media. You know, my, my advice is look back 50 years. Who had central heating? We all had a tin bath, didn't we? That's right, nobody had hot and what you'd have cold running water. We forget how quickly we've moved on and luxuries become everyday staples, don't they? I don't know about you, but when people talk about the cost of living crisis, my first thoughts are this. Stop ordering things on Uber, dining out and, and all this sort of stuff. Cut your cloth, as we say in the North. That's the bigger deal. It's a little bit like, of course, this particular story, which could be falling foul of fashion. And as ever, let me explain. As we know, way back in 2018, uh, Meghan Markle was lucky enough to be the guest editor of the International Style Bible Vogue. And what I liked about Anna Winter, the executive director editor of Vogue, is she invited our late monarch, Her Majesty the Queen, along to uh, London Fashion Week because Her Majesty, at that point in her life, had actually never been to a full fashion show. What a nice gesture to do. Now, of course, a lot of fans realise that um, the Devil Wears Prada with the brilliant Meryl Streep playing the lead role in it is allegedly loosely based on Anna Wintour. I've met Anna, not as uh, sort of dark and as demanded as people make out. The image is good though. But then, of course, she's now got her own big problems, maybe her own Devil Wears Prada with her own organisation. Nothing to do really with Meghan Markle's guest stint, although that was the main start of it. Now, a According to a very good source, her good chum, the editor, Edward Ennefel, has decided that he wants to do this with the magazine. Now, he recently got married to his, you know, squeeze, and that was all across the, the you know, the papers, the glossy mags, in fact, covered by his own magazine. Uh, sadly, Meghan and Harry couldn't make that guest list for whatever reason. But now he thinks in the 21st century that the style Bible, Vogue, which has been around for over 100 years, should now become genderless. That's right. So it's not male, it's not female, it's not empowerment, it's not showing anything for anybody. It's all about basically gender neutral. Now, when you think about it, magazines, glosses, anything are struggling in this very difficult time. You know, people are buying less, people are reading online for free. Not exactly the most brilliant of moves, is it? He's locked in battle with, as I say, the executive editor, uh, Anna Wintour, about how she feels that Vogue should be celebrating women, their powerfulness, fashion and everything celebratory about what makes a woman. Seemingly, he's obviously had a bite of the same apple as the Labour Party because they can't define a woman either. They believe that the comedian Eddie Izzard is in fact a woman. Confusing, right? But also it appears, according to a very good source, that Mr Ennefel is still reaching out and hoping now, in her brand new PR-free mode, that Meghan might want to do something else with Vogue interesting to note isn't it now we're not quite sure at this stage what it could be but what i do find more interesting is will megan want to become gender fluid as well will that story permutate through to her or more importantly as she's often said will she be pulling up a seat at the table standing up for female rights or for the power of vogue will she forget all of that as ever when i know more you'll know more neil sean in london